Hello you guys and welcome to Abundantly Minimal. My name is Sarah and today I'm going to be talking a little bit about the financial benefits of minimalism. Recently I've seen a lot of traffic on a couple of my older videos related to budgeting and finance and realized I had never done a dedicated video where I talk about a lot of the financial benefits. I've talked about environmental benefits of minimalism but not financial benefits in just one video. So that's my aim today. Now at first when you're thinking about it, it may seem a little bit obvious. If you're following a minimalist lifestyle, you're not spending as much money and therefore that money can go to other things. Yes, you know that is kind of the theme that you'll notice of today, but there are some sometimes unexpected ways that you do financially benefit from minimalism. So I want to talk through those today and maybe these benefits I talk about today will be things that help motivate you on your journey to live your best life with less. So let's get started. First up, like I implied before, you are going to be saving a lot of money. Now with a minimalist lifestyle, there's a lot of reasons you're saving money. The first of which is that you will start to realize that you no longer get the same value bringing new items into your life and that shopping doesn't give you the same value anymore. And so because of not wanting to shop as much and bring other items into your life, by default you are not going to be paying the money for those different kinds of things. Those will not give you as much value, therefore you will not enjoy going shopping as much. You'll lose kind of that, I guess, high that you get after you found a product that you wanted or found a good deal. Personally, I've never really been someone who's enjoyed regular traditional shopping that much, but if you are, releasing yourself from that addiction to it, I think can open a lot of doors and save countless dollars. And as a reaction to not bringing as much new stuff into your life, you are saving this money that then can go for other things. So if you're someone who has debt, this is the perfect time to help paying those debts off. Maybe you're someone who wants to save more or invest more and you haven't really done that much. It's the perfect time to do it. Maybe you even want to still spend the money, but spend the money in a way that offers you more fulfillment and value. Maybe you're spending money in a way to kind of invest in your health or invest in the betterment of you. Maybe you're able to focus on things that you put off for many, many years, such as taking a trip that you've always wanted to. With a minimalist lifestyle, because you're buying less, you're able to buy better, which means rather than focus on only getting like the cheapest one of everything you can, and then once it breaks very quickly because it was made poorly, you have to buy another one and those costs add up, you can instead invest a little bit and purchase something that's of a little bit higher quality that will last longer, maybe it also was made more ethically, and because of that, that's also an investment in your future because these goods are hopefully going to last much longer than the ones you would have purchased before. On a minimalist lifestyle, your monthly costs will likely decrease. Having this minimalist perspective helps you evaluate the different monthly costs in your life and if you're getting value out of them. You may find that you have an expensive TV package, but really having Hulu or Netflix is all that you actually want or watch. You might find you're living in an apartment that's much more luxurious or spacious than you actually want or need and consider downsizing. Whatever it is, you might find different costs in your life that really, now that you start to evaluate more about what you need rather than what society tells you it needs, you might start to make choices that reduce those monthly costs. And especially for the monthly costs, that's where you can really add up the amount of money you're saving. Also, the longer that you follow a minimalist lifestyle, the more your expectations will change. Just using the holidays for an example, let's say the holiday of Christmas, maybe you would buy hundreds of dollars worth of gifts and also indirectly, maybe you wouldn't have said this out loud, but expected to receive hundreds of dollars worth of gifts. That's a very different approach then once you start having a more minimalist lifestyle, you might not want all of those gifts like you used to. You might not want to bring in all of this stuff after the holiday season. I was recently watching a video from Emily from The Not Busy Life. I'll link it below if you're curious. And she kind of talked about how in the past she's felt after the holidays that her house was attacked by stuff. And I can definitely relate to that from past holidays, especially once you start having a minimalist lifestyle. So with this, since your expectations have changed, you kind of change up some of these traditions or habits in your life and 
chances are the outcome will be less stuff, less stuff brought in, less stuff you're spending money on. Another great financial benefit, especially if you feel like you are just having so much stuff that you actually have to have extra space storing your stuff, such as a storage unit or places in your house that you're not able to fully utilize because of all your stuff. A minimalist lifestyle can help you financially because hopefully you can either not need that extra space anymore, stop paying that monthly cost, or you're able to, again, better utilize that space. So maybe let's say you have an extra room in your home or apartment. Maybe you consider renting that out to someone or putting it on Airbnb. Again, it depends on a lot of factors but maybe that is an option. Maybe where you're working, you actually have the option to work from home, but maybe you feel like you didn't have the space at home that you're able to do that and have like a concentrated office. But if you were to declutter a bit, maybe you have that space. It really depends a lot upon the person. Those are just a couple simple examples, but the idea is that maybe the space in your life can be put to much better use or financial value than holding your stuff. Another excellent benefit of a minimalist lifestyle is having more time. And as the old saying goes, time is money. Not having to spend the time cleaning your stuff and organizing your stuff and going through stuff and being frustrated by your stuff and losing things and having to find them. All of those frustrations that I felt before I was on a minimalist lifestyle, getting that out of the way means that you have more time to focus on what actually matters whatever your different hobbies are, maybe you have been desiring to start up some sort of side business on your own and just felt like you haven't had the time to do it. Maybe you just wanna spend more time with your family. Regardless of what it is, if there is stuff that's taking away your time and it's not even worth it, those are great things to then think about getting rid of. Related to the time example, another major financial benefit is having additional energy. So even though it's very similar to the time example, there are many money wasting things that we do in life because we are either lacking time or energy. And these typically have a cost. When you go to the grocery store, you could buy something like if you're in the vegetable department, you could buy, you know, the traditional vegetables, or you could buy them already packaged and cut up and they might be a little bit more expensive. Likewise, you could, if you're a big coffee fan or tea fan, you could make that beverage at home. Or if you are short on time, and energy, maybe you go somewhere else to get that. Same with going out to eat. There's a lot of different things in life where because we're maybe short on time or energy, we pay someone else to do it for us, make it for us, etc. And it's not a bad thing. I know I do sometimes like to buy frozen produce that's all cut up for me so I don't have to buy a fresh one and then cut it up myself. It's just easier that way and that's fine. But if there are things that you're paying for, but really you could do yourself if you had some additional time and energy, which you can get from a minimalist lifestyle, then that can be a great way to also save money. And then finally, an additional financial benefit of minimalism is that hopefully with this extra time and energy and also less distraction from these different goods, hopefully it gives you a chance to better streamline or simplify your financial situation. I know that it can be very easy to feel like you've got different accounts here and then different credit cards and the different bills that you owe. It can be a little overwhelming. And I think for a lot of, at least I can speak for maybe Americans and maybe others as well, feel like they are either overwhelmed by dealing with finances or they don't feel like they know enough to be able to make helpful choices about their finances. And the scary thing is, is that we can be really essentially throwing away thousands of dollars, not just from our actions with shopping, but by not helping our financial resources work for us as much as we should. And when you get distracted by all this stuff in your life, it's really easy to kind of let that sink to the bottom of your to-do list and not really get around to it. But still, Jake and I have a long way to go, but I think if you can kind of put that as a priority rather than some of the stuff in your life, that can help you long-term as you continue saving for life's bigger financial commitments. So that being said, those are my best financial benefits of minimalism. What did I miss? I'd love to hear any other financial benefits you can think of below in the comments. I always enjoy hearing from you. And if you enjoyed this video or other videos related to minimalism, finances, healthy living, you've come to the right place. You can subscribe to the channel right here and I'll put some other videos here that you might like. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.